Well, hello, my berries. It's me, Dark Berry 32, and I'm coming to you guys on a Monday. I did not come to you on Friday because I stayed home and worked from home on Friday. I was in my pajamas. Did not do a thing except for work on my computer sitting right here in this bed. I didn't even go into the living room. So, yeah. Um, and then when, I think it was like 4.30 or so, then I decided to finally get up. And me and Jordan did some cleaning and all that kind of stuff on Friday. So, yeah, it was sort of like, almost like a three-day weekend, but I still had to work. Don't even get it twisted. I still had to work, you know. Um, and hopefully I'll get a lot more done today going into the office. Because possibly we're getting another winter storm tomorrow. And they're saying actually snow. Like snow here in Houston. Which it's been a few years since we've seen snow here in Houston. So um, I could possibly be doing the same thing tomorrow working from home. Because um, it sounds like it's going to be a whole lot worse than it was on Friday. Friday it was a lot of ice on the roads. People slipping, sliding getting into guardrails and stuff like that. And y'all, I just don't think it's worth it. Even if I have to take a day of vacation tomorrow, I will do so. I will not be going into the office. Um, I'll take my computer or whatever, whatever I have to do, but I will not risk um, hurting my vehicle because who's going to replace it? And sometimes, you know, I know, I think I've told you guys this before. If you are bosses, you know, you guys watch my channel, whatever, and if you're bosses and if you have some of these employees, that are what you would consider low man on the totem pole or don't have much say or don't even understand what they should do or if they're young and they're just getting into the workforce, go to them and, and let them know, especially during all this type of uh, storms and, and winter mixes and all that kind of stuff or if it's bad weather when it start, when people are saying that it might flood or whatever, whatnot, and especially if they have young kids. You know, I always said that if I ever get into the position of being someone's boss and then I understand that they have kids and yeah I know work needs to be done and you know sometimes you have to re realize that some people may try to take advantage of your kindness but just realize that their life isn't worth that revenue bottom line it is not guys you know what I'm saying some people they want that money you know, they want you to come in and irregardless and, you know, collect the fees and, and, and send out the, the contracts and do all that kind of stuff. But it's not worth a person's life or their livelihood. I mean, I'm thinking about some of these people that risk themselves to go in on Friday and then they're slipping and sliding into guardrails. And that could be their only means of transportation. You know, so you're cutting off their means of even getting into work on a regular basis when they could have just missed one day. So now they got to worry about getting a rental car and money's got to go toward that. And, you know, it's just one day. One or two days is not going to hurt your bottom line. So I, I don't mean to get on the soapbox, but I just want people to realize the impact of what, Of a person going in for one day could actually have on their family, their livelihood, whatever. You know, think about that kind of stuff. A lot of people don't. And then I noticed, like, I've worked, you know, only a few jobs in my life, a few companies in my life. Not a lot. I mean, I think I can count maybe all of them on one hand. But in all of the jobs, it's like some people that are like, what would you call, like the higher compensated employees. Um, they can say when they go and come and they can also have uh, more control over their children. But when you have the lower paying employees that, you know, that their life depend on going in that job and, oh my God, what am I going to do with my kid if the daycare is closed and if I don't have any family that lives around me that can actually take care of my small children because I used to be there. You know, I thank God now that they're, my son is about to be 18, my daughter's 14, so I don't have to worry about that as much. But for the ones that have those five-year-olds, six-year-olds, eight-year-old kids, what do you do? What do you do? You know what I'm saying? And luckily for me, I had um, some great employees where, you know, I could bring my kids in if needed to be, you know, put them in a conference room or whatever, keep them out of sight or whatever. You know, they, it, it, was, it was awesome. But there are some that you just can't do that. You just can't. You know what I'm saying? You can't bring them in. 
you know, especially like if you work in the medical field or whatever, whatnot, it's just, I don't know. I, I, my heart goes out to people like that because I've been in that place and it wasn't so hard for me. It's just the part that was hard for me was trying to figure out, should I go in? Should I not? You know, uh, I had my family on in my ear over here saying, girl, don't you go in there because, you know, it's going to be like this on the road and you could hurt yourself and you got to think about your children. And I got on my, on the other ear, you know, like employees not really saying anything in this ear, just, you know, like it's a regular day. So I don't know if you watch the weather or if you don't, Get some type of app or something that will come across your phone so that way you can keep your employees informed and let them know. I think that's just common courtesy, y'all. The common courtesy that you can do for your employees. So anyway, uh, I got a text <laughs> about the Real House of Atlanta. I don't know if you guys watched it last night. I did actually watch it. It was really late, but I did watch it. So I got to um, talk to Carrie about my, because I watched it. It was really good. And like she was saying, in two weeks, it's going to be really good. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Grown people fighting. That's crazy. Anyway, if y'all watch it, y'all let me know what y'all think about all the stuff that I just said. You know, the employees. And do y'all have issues like that where you're just at work, you know there's going to be bad weather coming in, but nobody says anything to you about what you should do. And they even, even like your actual boss know you have kids and don't say anything to you. Like, come on. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing today. I think you guys have seen this dress before. Um, but I decided to wear it with boots, and I keep telling you guys that I'm going to try to do Alpha the Days with boots, so that's what I'm doing today. And I just have on my Charlotte Roos boots, the brown ones this time, with the little gold beading um, on the back and across the front. And then for my legs, I have on these navy blue um, leggings, tights. I would say tights, they're not leggings. Um, tights. And then I have on this orange and navy blue dress that I got from the Nutcracker Market. I also got the tights. From the Nutcracker Market as well, and the boots from Charlotte Roos, if I hadn't stated that. And then um, for my jewelry today, um, I have on this gold giraffe, which I don't know if you guys know, but no, but that is my very favorite animal. I love giraffes, and the reason why I love giraffes is because it's such a graceful animal. Have you ever seen a giraffe run? Like, to me, when I saw it, I said, how can people deny that there's a God? When I saw a giraffe run, it's so graceful. Such a big animal, but when it runs, it just looks so graceful. Like, it's almost running in slow motion. It's crazy. Um, and then today I have on my Michael Kors watch. And then I have on these earrings that I got from Sam Moon a while back. Um, and I think that's it. My makeup I did very simple. I tried to do just an eyeliner, mascara, and a little bit of a highlight. And then I have on that pink lip, lip balm that I did in my double Ipsy review. Um... And the, the, the color of it is Fiesta, and it's by Mika Beauty Cosmetics. And it's a lip balm, and what I did is I put a gloss on top of it to make it more like a lipstick. So, yeah, guys, I'm feeling sick. I am trying to fight it off, but I am feeling sick. Like, something is about to happen to me. I am not kidding, y'all. I've been kind of, like, down since yesterday, and right now I feel like I have a headache or something going on with me. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to fight it off. I'm going to fight it off. I got my flu shot. I did get my flu shot earlier this part of the uh, last year, like I think like September or something like that. So I don't know what's going on with me, but um, it's time to start like taking care of myself, maybe, you know, more vegetables and stay away from the sugar and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a fabulous Monday. Don't forget to comment below. Um, give me a thumbs up for the outfit of the day and all the uh, discussions that I try to get going off the ground and get people to talking and stuff like that. You know, start talking about it around, you know, well, maybe not so much about getting off because of bad weather in your office and we don't want to stir nothing up. But, you know, maybe some friends of yours, like if you meet them for drinks or something after work, talk to them about it and see what they say too. So, and let me know. I will talk to you guys later. Y'all have a fabulous Monday and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.